Hey family, this is Pastor Tim Russell and I'm here with my beautiful wife and we're just excited today to talk about Christmas. You know, it's another day where we can just give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. And, and I know people have spent some great time with family and, and friends, and uh, we haven't been able to do it like we have done it in years past, but we still were able to give God the glory and honor and his praise. Why? Because, you know, it's not about how many people are around us. It's about the love that comes out of us. You know, I think sometimes we are trying to say things are great because of what's around me. Now, things are great because of what's inside of us. And that's what Christmas is all about, that he was born to live in us. And because he lives in us, we have the right to celebrate and share it with one another. Go ahead and open up, baby. What you got to say? I just I'm doing talking. What no, you got? No, no, I'm I'm excited. I'm grateful. You know, this time has been rough for those of us who are, you know, relational and like to have be around. Yeah, exactly. Like to be around our children and you know our extended family and you know parents and whatnot. Um, this can be a time that's difficult, especially with COVID, because maybe you can't get to somebody or. You know, maybe it reminds you of a time when someone was living and they're no longer here. Uh, but uh, I, you know, like you said, I, I've i just learned over the years as different hardships have come up, I've learned to get my eye on the only thing that matters, which is Jesus. That's right. Jesus matters. He's the reason. For the season. For the season. Yes. I know we, yes. you know, we'll go into and we were playing around earlier. Chestnuts <laughs> roasting on the open fire. <laughs> you know, I know, we, you know, it's good to have fun. But at the end of the day, we have this day and our shirt say it. It's Merry Chris, Christ Christmas. You know, more of Christ. Yes. Merry Christmas. And, and that's what it's all about. It's all about, you know, Jesus Christ being the center. Like the song said, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. joy yeah. If he's the center of my joy, then everything else flows from that. Our relationship with our family, our relationship with our kids, our relationship with our spouses, yes. our relationships with one another. It flows from Jesus being the center of our joy. Yes. Uh, and, I, and I just love that. If he's at the center, then everything else will flow into place. Yes. Oh, yes. I got that song. <laughs> All this good and perfect comes from you. Come on. You're the what? Hope of my, what is it? I, I don't know. That's You're why I threw it at you. Hope my devotion. <laughs> hope for all I do. Jesus. Jesus. You're the center of my joy. All right. <laughs> so Jesus is the center of it. That's the reason why we are, we have this season, and that's the reason why we celebrate. You know, the Bible says in Luke, this is it's powerful. It says that when the angel appeared to the shepherds mm. in Luke, if you get a chance, read Luke, the second chapter. The angel appeared to the shepherds and they were afraid at first, you know, because mm -hmm. like we would be like, oh, there's this angel in front of us, this, you know, angelic being. And he appears and he begins to let them know that there's a savior that has been born. Mm -hmm. And what I saw in that scripture, it says that there was this huge, mm. I love the way the message Bible breaks it down. There was this huge angelic choir that began to sing about, you know, you know, Jesus and about the praises and how, you know, we should praise his name. And it said the angel that was giving them instruction about Jesus went and joined this heavenly choir. Isn't that powerful? Yeah. Went and joined this heavenly choir, um, really celebrating that Jesus Christ was born. Was born. How did you mm. spend Christmas? Have you yet taken time out to pull the family together and just sing worship to the king? Have you yet, you maybe say, well, I don't have a family, Pastor Tim, it's just me. Have you taken a moment and just worshiped the king and just talked about, Lord, I just want to thank you for being born because your birth led to so many other events right. that has given me the reason 
to say I'm redeemed, I'm born of the king, I'm, I'm, I'm owned by Christ, I'm crucified with him, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in. Because of your birth, it started with that, you know, and because of that, I have a reason to praise God. I have, I, yeah, I mean, you you did it all. You, you, you came, you, you, you were born uh, fully man and fully God, and then you went all the way through for us. Yeah. For us. Right. Because you love us so much. Right. So how much, I mean, celebrate your birthday? Of course. Yeah. Of course, right? Yeah. And look, and look at this. Jesus was born in a manger in in Bethlehem, which was, uh, you know, was fulfilling prophecy about being born in the least or the least area of Judah, the least, you know, part of Judah. Jesus, the greatest, is came to us as a servant, came mm, to us lowly, lowly mm. and, you know, but you know, a lot of people don't, if they don't really see this part, they brought gifts to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So Jesus was, his family mm. was blessed at his birth. His and birth. I want to let you know something because we're part of the family of Jesus Christ. Mm. We're blessed. And God gave me this revelation. And let's talk about this for a moment, mm -hmm. you know, um, that, that the wise men that came to King Herod, they came and they said, and, and you'll read this, if you go to Matthew, you know, the beginning of Matthew, the first chapter, you'll read the story about the wise men coming to King Herod. And he says, says hey, where is this savior? Where is this right. king mm -hmm. that has been born? We, we, we follow the eastern star. We followed the star. And it's brought us to this point. And King Herod got, you know. Yeah jealous and upset within himself. Mm -hmm. He didn't reveal this to the wise men. They got a revelation from God themselves, mm -hmm. but they, he, he, he said, go and go, go and find him so that I can bring gifts to right. him because they came to worship mm -hmm. and pay homage to, you know, um, this King that was born. Herod had another thing in mind that he wanted to kill him. Right. He wanted to kill. He wanted to take him out. And so the wise men went. They realized that was going to happen. They went and blessed Jesus and then left. They didn't go back to the king and say, oh, we found him. Right. And I, and I want to bless you because me and my wife were just talking. I want to let you know something that that Eastern star is now that Shekinah glory that's over our lives. So that Eastern star that the wise men followed that that mm. that that you know brought them to Jesus is now that Shekinah glory. There's always a star that's where Jesus is. Let me say that again. There's always a star. There's always a shining forth or where Jesus is. Well, where does Jesus live now? In us. Oh, yeah. He lives in our heart. Yeah. So I want to let you know something. This star that the wise men followed to find Jesus is now a glory that's over our lives so that, that people are always going to be attracted to Jesus in you. Now, there's going to be two types of people that are always, or groups of people mm -hmm. that are be attracted to the Jesus in you. Those that want to come and bless you, mm -hmm. and then those that want to come and kill you. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand that. I just want to do a little understanding of this revelation God gave me is because a lot of times we're like, man, why am I going through so much? Man, man, why are people coming at me? And why is it? Because of the glory that's on your life, because Jesus lives in you, yeah. there's always going to be people coming to give to you. Right. But then there's always going to be people that are coming to take yeah. from you. Do not be dismayed. Yeah. Do not be discouraged. It's confirmation. Ooh, yes. All right. A lot of times we're just like, man, I should just give up. I should just quit. No, it's confirmation that Christ lives on the inside of us when we have these groups. If you only just have one group, then you need to question is Christ really living right. on the inside of me? Yeah. If the only thing that's coming at me is people that want to bless me, hmm. Mm. If there's only people that want to come at me that want to kill me, hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're going to always have these two groups coming because of Christ living in you and the glory of the Lord. You can't hide. You can't be incognito in yeah. Christ Jesus yeah. because Christ is not incognito. He is the Savior of the world. His joy, his peace, his the giving of life is living now on the inside of you. And that's going to attract the, the ones that need it and the ones that want to kill it. 
Yeah. And you know, what I see there is the ones that uh, you have to be careful how you engage with both. Yeah. You know, uh, don't put too much on it when somebody wants to bless you. I can't tell you how many times someone's come and go, oh, I just think you're so wonderful, so marvelous. And later on, those are the very people that are coming against you. And so don't put too much on it. If somebody's being, you know, uh, uh, being complimentary, awesome. But it's him who I'm worried about. Yeah. If somebody's coming against me, that's okay too. I'm going to love you anyway. It's him who I'm worried that's about. Right. That's and right. And I think if we can keep our eyes on him, you know, earlier this week we were doing a, a study and we looked at Mark 7, 15, which says it's not what goes in a man that defiles him. It what, it's what comes it's out. out. And, and so it's all about whether we become overly flattered with all the blessings and caught up and distracted with all the gifts and the blessings of the day, or we become distracted and upset and angry and frustrated by the cursings that come. At the end of the day, it's about what's in the manger. Right. It's, 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 it's that, the gift that's in the manger that we need to focus on. Right. So, so if I hand you this, yes. now you possess it. Yes. So once you possess it, it is yours. But that's give me my phone back. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you mean, eBay, your phone, I'm your, coming. Your phone is way better than mine. <laughs> but look, I want you to see something. Because she possessed it, it is hers. Now Second Peter is understood. Remember, he says that I've already given to you all things yeah. that pertain to life and godliness. Well, what is the all thing? It's Christ. Right. The hope of glory in your life. Yeah. So the affirmations that we need are already on the inside of us. Right. If we come into agreement with Christ in us. See, that's why the enemy wants you to believe that you're nothing and, oh, this is going on. That's going. He doesn't want you to ever come to the reality or walk in the reality that Christ lives on the inside. Yes, the one that got up from the grave and said all powers is given to me in heaven and in earth is living on the inside of your heart. Remember what he said? Behold, in Revelations, yeah. I stand at the door and knock. Yeah. If any man, any woman, open the door, listen, if you answer to open the door, you got to first answer yeah. the door, all right? Mm -hmm. So if any man or woman answers the door and opens the door, yeah. look what he said. I will come in and use the prefix here and sup. Mm -hmm. All right. I will, because I really believe that word breaks into so many different words. Sup, supply, sup, supper, have dinner, sit down and get acquainted. And I, what's up too? What? No. no. See, you tried <laughs> you, you had to go city on me on that one. Yeah, what? Jesus said, I will come in and say, what's up? No? That's okay. Not... Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. <laughs> that's, that's what he did. That's what he did. That's what he did for me. Yeah. That's, that's good. That's my testimony. That's good. That's, I'm going to say what's up later. By the way, I just want to just thank <laughs> Red's Tasty. What is it? Red's Tasty Treats? Treats. Yes. Yeah, Red's Treats. This is, you know, um, some cookies that have been made for our set, but they're not fake cookies. They no. real cookies. They good. It was calling me last night, too. Yes. Don't don't hit my hand, because these are getting towed up you, later. Just I want right. to say that we had a thief in the house though last <laughs> night because we had a few more of these other kinds of cookies. You know, we got some red velvet here, snickerdoodle, oatmeal raisin, and the sugar cookies the sugar are missing. Cookies. And the snickerdoodles are missing. And one of the oatmeal raisin cookies are missing. Some chocolate chip down there too. Yeah, some we stuff. You tried to hide that yeah, one. Yeah, some huh? stuff is missing here. But we want to just thank them. We we support small businesses. Yes. Now, see, I'm possessing this. This is mine. All right. Mm -hmm. So which means that I'm going to benefit from what they give me. Well, Christ is living on the inside of us. We possessed Christ, so we're going to benefit from what he gives us, all things that pertain to life and godliness. Mm -hmm. So my affirmation, your affirmation, and the enemy doesn't want you to get it from him. He wants you to get it from people. Right. People are going to build you up, let you down. All right, the same ones that said, we love you, Jesus, said crucify Jesus. The, you know, so we got to understand that our affirmation comes from the Lord. Yes. I know that's hard because as humans, we want to feel good. We want to get that pat on the back. Mm -hmm. We want people mm -hmm. to celebrate us. Mm -hmm. And it's hard when they don't celebrate us because then we feel alone. But man, we got to 
We got to really come into union with, Mm -hmm. union with the Lord Jesus. And I think this pandemic, this is why people, they struggle with sheltering in place. Mm -hmm. Because everything is built on the relationships that are around them, not within them. Yes. Now, that's Tim's opinion. Mm -hmm. That's not something the Lord revealed. But I believe that we need to get that thing in order, that my relationship starts here. I'm made whole by what's happening here, all right, not by what's happening here. I enjoy what's happening here, and I appreciate what's happening here, but I I made whole. Yeah. I mean, so many people are are just like really falling apart yeah. because of of not being able to do what they used to do. Yeah. Here. Yeah. If your identity is in access, doing activities, um, going to this and that friend's house, being the center of the, the life of the party, uh, you know, drinking on Friday nights, you, you cut off. So now, now you're not having the fun you used to have. You, you're not buying the things you used to buy. You're not going on the trips you used to go on. And all of those things, you know, you use to anesthetize yourself, you know, when deep inside there was a brokenness. Now God has brought us to a place of taking a look at ourselves, taking a look within and saying, are you in there, God? Have I invited you in? Have I invited you to be my hope or become one with yeah. you really truly yeah because you live on the inside of me right and you might i might have accepted you as my savior but are you my lord yeah and have i come fully into agreement with who you say that i am that's good i'm not yeah. you know i'm not vanessa with the louis vuitton bag i'm vanessa child of god so you don't need the louis vuitton bag no no, no. Let's get this right now. <laughs> I got it on camera, though. I got it on tape, boy. No, no, I got no, it on no, tape, no. boy. Rewind Roll that part. Tape, no. no, no. No, I'm but I good. know, I, I know, you know what you're saying. saying. It's like it's those things are great to have. Yeah. But I possess the joy of the Lord. Yes. I possess the peace of God. I possess the things that give me what I need to live. Yes. All things that pertain to life and godliness live on the inside of me yes. so that that gives me an appreciation for what I have on the outside because they're in its right. It's in its right place. Balance. It's, yeah. it's yeah. in its right place. It doesn't rule my life. No. It's a part of my it's life. complimentary. There you go. Yeah. There you go. What rules me is what's on the inside yes. of me. All right. That's yes. what... That's what I'm in agreement with, yeah. who I am in Christ Jesus, because Christ lives on the inside of me. And the minute you do that, here comes the enemy wanting to attack the glory of the Lord inside mm. of you, yeah. wanting to discourage you and make you feel like, man, you're not who you are and yeah. you don't really have all that. But yes, I do. Mm. And that's why the scripture goes on down in Second Peter, goes on to say this. Now, what you got to do as you mature is add to your faith because my faith is what I possess. Mm-hmm. I walk by faith, what I possess, and not by sight. So I'm possessing what the Lord has said. I'm yeah. possessing his word, my faith, all right? But he said, now, he says, okay, as you mature, mm-hmm. Add to your faith right. these things. Right. Add experience. Yeah. Don't get mad at the valley. Yes. Because it's in the valley, you'll know that he's the lily of your valley. That's right. Don't get mad at, you know, the rain because then you'll know that he'll shelter you from the rain. Don't get mad at the 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 uh, things that you got to go through because then you'll know that he's your rod and your, the staff that comforts you. Don't get mad mm-hmm. at, you know, um, your enemies because he's going to prepare a table in front of your enemies and anoint your head with oil. All right. Don't get mad at he's going to make them your footstool. So you're adding, mm-hmm. you're adding to your faith, yes. experience, yeah. mm-hmm. and then you're adding other things, as the scripture says. Second Peter is a good chapter to really learn about the virtues that I need to add, those things that I need to add as I mature, yeah. Yeah. so that I'm not wavering ever, yeah. but instead I'm steadfast and I know the new the, the new versions say immovable, but I like the yeah. old versions that says unmovable. 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 Yes. You can't 
undo mm. what Christ has already done. Amen. And, you know, I think about the gifts, you know, just going back to the gifts. Would You know, that's really the gift that I want right? To be unmovable, hmm. you know, for, for God to give us those, those pillars, if you will, of strength, yeah. you know, to, to, to have the joy of the Lord, right? to have, uh, to know who we are in him, to have right. our identity in him, to be, <clears throat> you know, able to uh, just think about his goodness and the way in which he has brought us through those valleys. That's right. That revelation about, oh, wow, I learned this and I learned that. You know, and and so we we never lose if we keep going. Right. If we keep on looking at, to the Lord from you know where our help comes. So. Right. And our help comes from the Lord, yeah. who created everything. That's right. He created it. Do you do you know that the Creator of everything lives on the inside of you? Right. The creator of all things not only lives on the inside of you, he's for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, you know what? We can't fathom that. We can't that we can't even wrap our minds around that. We, I, I can't even wrap my mind around that because I can't even get my family to be for me. Mm. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even get people that I've done good to to be for me. But here it is. You got to understand that the creator of all oh, is yes. for you. You are beautiful in his sight. Yeah. You are, what does it say? You are wonderfully made. Fearfully made. Yes. What does it say? Fearfully You're wonderfully fearfully made. made. You know, I was watching this guy put some gold together and or making something online. He was just making it in the focus that he had as he made this i don't know if it was a bracelet or but he he had to have these certain kind of tweezers to put the diamond in place and he was making it and i said man that's how god made us yeah intricate beautiful whatever that word was she just said <laughs> intricate it sounded like you said itchy or itchy no he wasn't itching when he made me wait but he what he did was he was <laughs> focused he was <laughs> break it focused. down like i'm three years old I mean, you know what I mean? he was focused he wasn't itching he was not itching he was focused <laughs> and and he perfectly put things yes. in place it's like why did god make me like this and why did you know why man you have been fearfully and wonderfully yes. made yes with purpose with you've been mm. ooh, i just got this mm. you've been made to go through what you went through mm. yeah that's right you know i stand on genesis 50 20 what the enemy meant for bad god uses for good everything 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 nothing gets wasted You've been made to go through what you've been through. You, instead of to kicking, endure, huh? like, instead of throwing the tantrum, instead of kicking your feet up in the air, instead of saying, I'm quitting, I'm tired, I ain't doing it. Do you know you've been made to go through what you're going through? Yeah. And then on top of that, the creator of all things that can bring you through anything is living on the inside of you. So not only were you made, mm -hmm. God says, even when you get tired, who mm -hmm. he said, because young men are get tired. Right. He said, and you know, you, you, you're going to go through the, the, the time where you feel like I can't make it. He says, but that's when I'll carry you. Right. Ooh, that's Ooh. when I'm going to carry you. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. You're going to mount up with wings as eagle. Why are you yes. going to run and not get weary? You're going to walk and not faint. Why? Because he lives on the inside of us. So you You've been made to go through it, mm -hmm. and he that can carry you through it mm -hmm. is living on the inside of yeah. you. So before you quit, before they say because Christmas time and New Year's time, the holiday season, are the most depressing times for people. Right. You know why? Because they get their their worth yes. from what's on the outside. Yes. Rather than what's on the inside. Exactly. This has been a year of vision. People did, they were right when they said 2020 is going to be a year of perfect vision. It has been. Yeah. Ooh. It Not has what been. we wanted to see. We, 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 what did we say? We, we interpreted it wrong. Yeah. We said, oh, what that means is I'm going to be able to see clearly where I'm being blessed. Yeah. I think we. My thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways. Yes, I'm getting ready to blow your mind and show you the things that you're getting ready to see is going to make you better for 21, 22, 23, 24, and as long as you're here on this earth. Yeah. So I think we did have some perfect vision. We realized that a lot of our being 
was what was on the outside, mm -hmm. not on what's on the inside. Yes, yes. And that's why Jesus said to the disciples, he says, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to Jerusalem. I want you to wait till you're empowered. Yes. Send you a comforter. He yes. said, he said, he said, listen, I want you to go there and wait mm -hmm. so you're empowered, which yeah. means that you're able to go through yes. any thing. Yes. Well, baby, we just we can talk on and on. What's some of your closing remarks? We got a couple minutes. What's your closing remarks for this holiday season as as we celebrate another mm -hmm. week of Christ must Christmas mm -hmm. and we walk into a new year. What what's your closing remarks? You know, I just um I just feel so grateful. I really do. I feel grateful for the trials. I feel grateful for the blessings. Um, but most of all, I, I feel so grateful for the Lord. And I and my prayer is that um, though it's been difficult, this is a year where you've turned around and you've seen more and more come to the realization that they need God. And for me, that is the best gift that I can give to someone is to say, hey, there is a person, there is a, a God that loves you, that created you, that designed you with purpose and that called you by name and that has, has a plan for your life. And so I, I think um, for me, that is um, what I want to give. And I'm so grateful that, you know, almost 20 years ago, someone did that for me. Mm. And so it's the best gift that I've ever received. And I'm thankful for just you. Uh, me and my wife are thankful for you. You've watched us all year long. We've had a new experience um, being online for most of the year. Yeah. And you watched us. And you've been faithful in watching us. And our church has been blessed um, by our AVO ministry and our music ministry and our prayer ministry. And because of that, I'm thankful. Yes. Those are the gifts that we unwrapped at the very beginning of the pandemic. And we're still enjoying yeah. those gifts as we unwrap them. And listen, we just want to pray for you. God, thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. For the blessings of this year, Lord, they may have seemed like they weren't blessings, but they've been blessings. Mm -hmm. You've shown us how great you are and how greatly you are to be praised. Yeah. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Well, until next time, we want to say this to you, what we always say, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you.